Item Number SCP-1592 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All possible broadcasts of SCP-1592 are to be intercepted and blocked from public viewing. Intercepted broadcasts are to be stored in sight Video Archive Any civilians physically altered by SCP-1592's effects are to be brought into containment immediately and any witnesses to these alterations dosed with Class A amnestics. Viewing of SCP-1592 must be authorized by at least three personnel with Level 3 access clearance. SCP-1592 may only be shown to D-Class personnel. SCP-1592 is a television program entitled Paradise Television, which has demonstrated the capability to cause mental and physical abnormalities. It has the general format of a televangelist program, but discusses values and concepts unusual for such a program. The host of SCP-1592 is a middle-aged Caucasian male, who refers to himself as Pastor Harris. SCP-1592 consists of an as-of-yet unknown number of 15-minute broadcasts, all of which show Pastor Harris sitting on an armchair, looking directly at the camera while delivering a sermon. When an individual watches a broadcast of SCP-1592, they will become interested in the values and concepts it discusses, regardless of previous religious or moral orientations. Further viewing of SCP-1592 will result in the individual gradually becoming obsessed with SCP-1592 and neglecting other social obligations in order to continue viewing it. Affected individuals will often record broadcasts of SCP-1592 and watch them multiple times. After the affected individual has viewed a number of broadcasts ranging from 20 to 30, physical alteration will begin. This takes place over a period of one to two weeks. If the victim is stopped from watching SCP-1592 during this period, these alterations will cease, but any alterations already caused by SCP-1592 will remain. Initial physical alterations include the growth of additional sensory organs eyes, noses, etc. on various parts of the body. Pigment of the skin radically changing in color. Alteration of the vocal cords, preventing normal human speech. Elongation or shortening of the limbs. Fusion of body parts, fingers, toes, etc. Growth of non-human extremities, mandibles, pincers, etc. Later physical alterations often involve morphing of the body into non-humanoid forms, usually resulting in immobility. It is unknown if the victim is aware at this point, as none have responded to attempts at communication. Interview Log 1592-1 Interviewer Dr. Interviewed D-20122 Forenote D-20122 had watched 22 videos of SCP-1592 broadcast at the time of the interview. Severe elongation of the left arm and left leg were present. Alterations to the structure of D-20122's mouth resulted in some difficulty speaking. Hello, D-20122. Hello, Doctor. What, what time is it? It's five minutes past six. Why? Nothing. It's just that, that, uh, that usually when we had a test, you know, where I watch the videos and write them and everything, write, write down what they say. I'm sure that can wait a while longer, D-20122. The tapes aren't going anywhere. No, no, no. I need to see him now so I know what he has to say. If you just calm down. We can finish this interview and proceed with the test. How do you feel about your physical alterations? Well, I was I was worried at first, but it's like what Pastor Harris says on the video. It's so we share his pain, isn't it? It still hurts though when my bones change. And why are you so interested in what Pastor Harris is saying? Well, I don't really know what it is about it. It's just right, you know? Like it all feels right. So you are happy with SCP-1592's effects upon you? Very. End interview. 
Closing Statement D-20122 began final physical alterations one week after this interview. Sermon Excerpts The following are transcribed records of SCP-1592 broadcast by D-Class personnel who were assigned to view them. What is wrong with the generation of today? They don't understand sacrifice. Haven't felt his gaze on their skin. I hope that my viewers understand sacrifice. I pray to him for that every night. For you. For your souls. If you have a pet, it will play its part. You will share his hunger in the coming days, and the pet will sacrifice for you. If you don't have one to sacrifice and suffer for you, worry not, my children. Worry not, for he will provide. I have a message from a faithful child here, from Jenny in Colorado. She watches his word every night, and the carapace is growing. Jenny writes, Pastor Harris, sometimes I scream from the pain he gives me. I cannot feel my legs. Jenny, if I may address you for a moment, what you are feeling is the pain that he too has suffered for us in the black. You are one of the faithful, Jenny, and so you are worthy to take his image. This pain is simply sacrifice, as he has sacrificed for you. Stay strong, Jenny. I have stood in the ashes of society and walked through the bones of dead planets. Have you seen these things? Has he seen fit to grant you these pleasures? Not yet, but the form is changing. Perhaps you slide along the floor like a slug, or drag yourself along the floor as a… Soon his eyes will wrinkle in benevolence at you. In faithfulness, you will find reward. In sanctity, you will find his image. He has many faces and many maws, and they look down on you, judging, waiting, loving. Good night.